Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add muzzle flashes or gunfire in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. It's really easy to do once you learn the trick. Let me show you what I mean. Since we don't have any loaded firearms in our office, I'm using a water hose spigot. You can see this right here. And I went outside and shot about 20 seconds of a video simulating someone firing a pistol. I'll show you what that looks like. Go bang, bang, bang. As you saw there, what I've done is I've told my actress to just say bang, bang, bang when she pulls the trigger. After I've done that, I've gone back and added the muzzle flash effect. I'll add those now and then mute the actress so you can see the effect. So adding that effect is real easy once you learn the secret. I'm going to show you what the secret is here. First thing you're going to need is the sound effect of the pistol or the gun firing. And the second thing you're going to need is the muzzle flash image itself. Now to get an audio effect of a gun firing, what you can do is you can go to Sound Bible, and at Sound Bible you can find a number of royalty-free effects, including gun effects, like there's a shotgun blast here. And on page three of their effects, you'll find the Beretta that I'm using here. And if you like that, you click on it. And once you get to this page, don't click this big link here because that's downloading something else. Click either the WAV or MP3 file. I downloaded the WAV file. Just click it to download it. Then once you have the sound of match the weapon that you're using, go to the Bing search engine and search for muzzle flash. And what you're looking for is one on either a black background or a solid blue background. You'll want to click the image to make sure it is in the public domain. Once you find one that's in the public domain, download that image. Well, here's a good one right here. So we'll click that image. And then to get the image, we right click and then save the image as and save it on our computer. Once we've got the muzzle flash and the sound effect, we go back to Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And back in Sony Vegas Movie Studio, you'll want to click Project, and you'll want to click Import Media, and you'll want to import those two files that you've just downloaded. That's going to be the sound of the gun and the muzzle flash image itself. And after you've imported both of them, you want to go down and make some room on your timeline where you can put both of them online. And what you want to do is bring the muzzle flash up first. And the muzzle flash should really only be about two frames long, and the muzzle flash image you have is going to be three seconds, which is 90 frames long which is way too long. So what you want to do is to resize your image. So we've got a muzzle flash about two frames long. And then now that I have that up there, I'm going to bring up my sound effect. And I want it to be one frame off the muzzle flash. So when I play it now, if you look down here, you'll see what it looks like. It's like a nice effect. So now that I have those, what I'll do is select both of those and then right click select group and choose create new what that does it makes a group so they move together as one and then i'll select that choose copy and then go back on my timeline where i need to put the muzzle flash so let's delete the ones that i have there and we can move our mouse around until i can see her pull her trigger down here if you watch down here whenever she pulls the imaginary trigger is where i want that to happen so about right there so i will put my pointer there click paste and now that we've pasted it, we can play it to see what it looks like. I'm going to highlight just that one area where the gunshot is and put it in loop and play it in loop mode. You notice that when she fires, the screen turns black, and that's because our PNG image has a black background, and that's not going to work. We're going to get around that by choosing Video Effects. Under Video Effects, we choose Chroma Keyer, and we pull the Chroma Keyer on top of the muzzle flash image on the screen. We choose the eyedropper, and then we choose the black color, and it immediately removes the black background. The next thing we're going to do is you can tell here that the flash is positioned wrong on the screen. We're going to use Pan and Crop to change that. So we click Pan and Crop. We're going to move our Pan and Crop window up here so we can see what's going on. First thing we want to do is that if this is a gun flash, the small end should be where the barrel is, and the big end should be at this side. So we right-click on Pan and Crop and choose Flip Horizontal. And now that we've chosen flip horizontal, we need to move this around. And to do that on a pan and crop window, we can just use our arrow keys to move images around. We're going to move our image. And we're going to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio so that we can drag our image wherever we want it. Until we get it lined up perfectly. And what we want is we want this little fire to be lined up with our barrel. And it takes a little bit of work to line it up. And also, since the barrel is pointing a little bit upwards, we'd want the flame to go upwards. 
So up in our pan and crop, we select our rotate tool. And one way to do this is to use the zoom so that you can see more of the screen. And then you rotate it right there. So we rotate our flame so it points upwards a bit. So we get it where it looks good. And then we move it again so we have it exactly where we want it. So now it looks pretty good. We're going to play that again to see what that looks like. We look at her finger, pulls there, and then it fires. Now we can change it so that it fires a little bit after that by moving this over one frame. We'll view it again, see what that looks like. That looks better. So now we've added muzzle flash, and what we want to do is go ahead and continue this for the entire video, which I've already done. But it's pretty easy to do. Now, if you're outdoors shooting a video and you're shooting with play guns, make sure that anybody who's around knows that you're shooting with play guns so you don't get in trouble with the police or the neighbors calling somebody saying there's a gunfight going on outside. So I'm going to show you what I started with, show you what I ended with. First of all, we'll mute out the tracks that we've added. Put the voice back in so you can hear it. We'll play that. Go bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, that's what we started with. And then we added in the flash, the muzzle flash. It looks pretty realistic. Of course, you can get a lot better effect if you work on it a little bit longer. But that's how easy it is. All you really need is the muzzle flash image, like that, and the background sound. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And you can find a whole lot more in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sunny Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon, as well as my website at bmyers.com.